Hi everyone, so today I just want to do a quick first impression slash early review of the Intel NUC. Um, I bought the NUC 8 i5 INH, which is the Isla Canyon NUC. That is the one that comes with an integrated graphics card in there, it's a Radeon 540X. Honestly, I'm not usually a product reviewer, that's not something I really tend to do on this channel. But I'm looking forward to getting the Intel NUC for about a year now, and this is one of those situations where the actual reality of it, it matches the expectations, it works, and if not, almost surpasses them. Like this, I'm so impressed with this product, hence I'm making this video. Here are the specs of an Intel NUC. Now the downsides with the Isla Canyon NUCs is the RAM is soldered on, so this one only has 8GB of RAM, whereas I'd usually prefer 16GB, and that it comes with a mechanical hard drive in this kit. Um, I much prefer SSDs nowadays, but um, because it has the 16 gigabytes of Optane memory in there, I haven't noticed any particularly slow situations or any moments where I've got really frustrated of how long the load times are. So luckily it's been okay. In the future I might upgrade the hard drive to an SSD, but right now that's not an issue. Now the usual use case for something like this is to tuck away under your shelf or behind the desk in the corner somewhere, hence why it's called a nook. Intel also do a line of graphics heavy processor NUCs, um, but this falls within the lower power category. But my use case is very different in that I want to use this for um, a live streaming company. Yeah, my use case isn't something that is very common um, for people that want to buy an Intel NUC. So I was a little uncertain whilst doing research for this, this is actually be strong enough to be able to do the live stream. But the results have actually blown me away. Like it's so much more powerful than I thought it was gonna be. Obviously there's a limit to that. But in terms of what you can do with this, like it's amazing. So this is the box you get, a really small box. And I've already unboxed this before, so this is just for <laughs> give you an idea of what you get. So you get your nook, get your power cable, and there's a vase amount I think in there as well as well as documentation. But that's if you want to hook it behind the TV. So that's good. It comes with that and some screws as well. So here's the internal nook. As you can see, it's really tiny. It's something like four inches by four inches by two inches. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty small. Got a USB port, USB-C port. That isn't Thunderbolt though. So if you're looking for a Thunderbolt machine, the Beam Canyon NUCs are probably the way to go um, as they're the most powerful ones right now. Although there are the Ice Lake Canyon uh, NUCs around the corner at some point. So yeah, power input, two USB ports, display port, HDMI port and ethernet. An SD card slot. So what I've also bought recently is one of these which is a I think it's Max Oak uh, power bank and this should give me four hours of medium use or so. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to do my first test of it tonight. Make sure that's on. As you can see, powered on. This is almost like a half a laptop, all you need is a keyboard, so you can get a wireless keyboard like this. Get a screen, like this one. This is all one contained unit now. Okay, so let's do a little test. Let's download and install Fortnite. Oh, well, it's only 24 gigabytes. In the meantime, let me show you one of the things I'm most impressed with whilst that's installing. So I have this Windows Mixed Reality headset and it's been great, I've used it for a year. Um, problem is, it's a little finicky, it isn't perfect. It's not as good as a Oculus or HTC headset, but it gets you the job done and you can experience VR for the most part with this. Usually you need some sort of decent graphics card. With Windows Mixed Reality, you can actually do it on lower end equipment. This is where the beauty of having two output uh, display outputs it really comes in handy when you try and do stuff like this because otherwise you'll be able to see what you're doing. And this is all enough the battery by the way <laughs> right now which I find really impressive. Can't really see it through there but you can see here. I think the max power draw the nut can pull is about 80, 80 watts or so and this power bank is rated up to 100 watts so there should be no problems running anything at full, full tilt really. Okay. And right now the actual process is running, the GPU is running at 97%. <laughs> but yeah, you can actually bring, I'll bring the microphone closer to it. It's about as loud as it gets, which compared to my voice, you know, 
it's noticeable, but you know, it, it, it's got to cool itself somehow. So, Windows Mixed Reality headset has inside out tracking so that you can take this um, outside. So, here I am, here walking with my laptop up and down the street with <laughs> holding the laptop. Um, this is a lot easier to carry around. So, I've been researching for about a year now on Intel Nux, and what really interests me about them is this you know, being able to do that and potentially having it all fit in something like this. Um, now, I will probably make a video about that in the future, about modular laptops, um, but this really is um, a great start in looking how to do that. I was looking at the smaller nooks for a while, the, the, the slimmer ones, um, but the ones with the Radeon graphics on them, they only come in, in tall. And um, there's this one and an i7 one as well, but the shop I went to didn't have the i7, they just had this one. Okay, so I'm playing with the mouse and I'm playing with this keyboard here, so I'm not going to be very good. <laughs> and, okay, so let's see what the settings are on. That's pretty good. That's at full HD, 60 FPS, high, high, far, far, far. V-Sync's off, motion blur's on, um, multi-thread rendering on. If it runs at full speed at this, I'll be really impressed because this is basically the same as what my work laptop can do. So yeah, that'd be really good if it can do that. If you can hear it on the camera, that's the nook <laughs> uh, speeding up to try and catch up with uh, everything it's trying to do. Yeah, very much seems okay. It's a little choppy now and then. Very beautiful, but. Otherwise, we're looking alright. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's go straight for it. Yes, yeah, it's very playable. I mean, I'd probably turn it down to medium settings, I think, um, just so I got the, the absolute best frame rate. I've literally not played this game in months, so I don't know what to, what's going on right now. Yeah, look at that. That's, that looks quite nice and detail in it. I'm definitely about to die. <laughs> yeah, so task manager, what's it saying? So at the minute, again, the graphics card's running at full pelt, 100%. Um, CPU is running at 50%, and the memory is uh, mostly full, 70%. Um, so it's pretty much pushing this nut to its absolute limits right now. Um, you know, you couldn't really multitask in that you could play a game and do something else. <laughs> Oh, that's a great gun. I'm just going to run away from that. <laughs> yeah, I should have been able to use it. <laughs> yeah, 20, I think, bad. Against a giant mech, which is apparently a thing now in the game. I didn't know. If you can run Fortnite on high settings, I'm pretty sure you could run most modern games on low to medium. If you if you wanted something really high end gaming, this isn't the machine for you. This isn't what it's meant for, and it's not positioned to that either. It's meant for just you know light tasks, but it's got that graphics card in that if it wants to play some casual gaming, you can do that. Um, they do do a line of VR ready gaming nooks, which are quite expensive, but they're bigger and they're more powerful and take a lot of wattage. I'm pretty sure this battery bank would struggle with the bigger nooks. Yeah, man, again, this is why I'm just totally impressed with this thing. You know, it, 600 pounds and it acts like a 500, 600 pound laptop. Um, you're paying pretty much no extra. The only thing you're really losing out on it is the not being able to upgrade the RAM. Like, it, you know, obviously you've got a screen, you haven't got a battery and people want a keyboard and um, they're all extras but if you just want something to work from at home that's, that's small enough that you can just take and move around if you want to rather than a big desktop PC. This is a great little machine. Um, I'm going to set this up now so that you can see how I use it, um, which is a quite a different use case. So this is what I use Intel Nook for, this is a full live stream setup. So here we have the camera which is running down to this capture card and there's the Intel Nook and that's running up to this screen here so I can see what's going on and I can live stream whatever the camera's showing um, obviously hopefully it's something more interesting than a light <laughs> but yeah I can I can live stream the whole thing um, 
and this is the whole this is the whole setup there's no usually i would have it attached to a laptop which i'd have to sit down somewhere else um i'd have to power that laptop this nook's been running for about an hour and a half now and it's still going and it's still showing three lights so if there's more than half in the tank that means i should get about three hours at least out of it maybe even four so i can take this to anywhere where there's no plugs um, no plug sockets and i can live stream for four hours which is the max on facebook anyway yeah this this is my dream this is what i've been wanting to do for the last year this is crazy and this is amazing and this is why i can't stop gushing about the intel nook it's a fantastic piece of kit yeah that's the live stream going and to prove that it's true this is what's on the stream so it's hold up in front of the camera and also do that and then if we wait a little while Should be able to see my hand come through. There we go. Yeah, this is now a proper portable live stream setup. And it's all on one tripod that I can pick up and take to different places. So if I want to take this down the road, I could do that. Stick it on a skateboard. It's amazing. But yeah, if you have any questions or suggestions of things I should try with the Intel Nook, um, something I might have not thought of yet, Drop them in the comments below and I'll give it a go and I might release another video. But yeah, cheers for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one. It's 21 in the morning, this live stream's been running for 4 hours and 10 minutes and it's still going. <laughs> I mean that's a big props to the battery bank but it's also a big showcase of how low power this thing is and also that it can do what it can do. Like, it's, very, it's so efficient that it can just run that well. Oh, right.